after writing two transformational books myself and supporting many other beings to do the same, I've become enthralled by the deep and mysterious magic that's activated when we choose to say yes to ourselves and commit to the book writing journey. Of course, we want to inspire change and new perspectives in our readers, but the transformation that happens as an author, both throughout the writing process and by actually releasing your book into the world is surprisingly potent. I know I've been blindsided in the most disruptive and delicious ways by some of the changes my books have brought into my life. Writing a book is like casting a spell. Although we can never be completely sure what's going to be unleashed during the process, we choose to do it anyway. This Unbound One is a heroic journey. Each book has the potential to be a magical portal, a doorway to a new world, both for you and your reader. Each book has a very specific medicine that it's here to share with us. And each book gives us the opportunity to alchemize the magnificent imperfection of our experience into gold. The truth is that anyone can write a book. We could all get a few thousand words down and put them together. But what fascinates me is what happens when we allow the book writing process to go deeper. When we say, fuck it, get naked and dive way down beneath the surface letting go of the shoulds and any need to be acceptable, sensible or approved of. What fascinates me is what happens when we make ourselves fully available to being transformed by the very act of writing a book. This is Unbound Writing and this is the process we'll be exploring together here in the Unbound Writers Club. I'm Nicola Humber, author and founder of The Unbound Press, and I help magical beings to write the transformational book they're really here to write at this time. I'm your guide here in The Unbound Writers Club, and the aim of this podcast is to help you to feel supported, encouraged, activated as you embark on your book writing journey. Whether you're a first-time author or have many books out in the world, my hope is that you will find something here to inspire you. Let's dive in. Hello and welcome to the Unbound Writers Club. Today we are talking audio books. So do you listen? to audiobooks. Is that the way you like to engage with books? Whether it is or not, it's a question that has often been asked of us, like since the beginning of the Unbound Press, really, can we produce audiobooks for our authors? And the answer now is yes. It took us a while (laughs) to figure it out, but we have just released our very first audiobook and it was the audio version of Trudy Reamer's Adventure After, helped by our very own Joe Gifford, who is our marketing content whiz at the Unbound Press, as well as being one of our authors. Joe kind of helps to produce the Unbound Writers Club, this podcast, and she now helps to or is responsible for producing audiobooks for the Unbound Press. So it might be something you're curious about. I mean, if you listen to audiobooks, you might be curious about the production process. If you're an author, again, you may be curious about what it takes to create an audio version of your book. So that's what we're talking about today. I'm in conversation with both Joe and Trudy. And yeah, we're taking you behind the scenes of the process, what it's like why Trudy wanted to create the audiobook, what the experience was like for her, what she learned. And I think you'll find it interesting. So let's dive in. So Trudy and Joe, welcome to the Unbound Writers Club. Thank you. Hi. I should say welcome back to both of you because you have (laughs) been here before. Um, and I'm going to dive straight in with this one, like straight into talking about the audio book process and Trudy being this amazing pioneer who's done the first audio book with the Unbound Press. Yay! Um, and did you always know, Trudy, that you wanted Adventure After to be an audio book? 
I knew I wanted it to be an audiobook before I even wrote the book. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I'm actually an audio person and I meant to go back and look, but I've probably been listening to audiobooks since 2010, maybe a little bit earlier, but I remember like even taking CDs and like burning the CD to listen to it. So it wasn't the tape girl, but I listened to it on CD. But no, from the get go, like the vision was to always see it as an audiobook. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I know you were like asking quite regularly, <laughs> what is this going to be an option? I was like, yes, it is. Um, you know, and it was always something that was there. It was bubbly. I mean, it was bubbling probably for about a, a year or so, like the idea of it. But then Joe, you were like, well, look, we can do this. Like I can do this. I can handle the process. Um, so Joe, tell us about it from your point of view. Um, like the whole audio book process but how how does it work because I think people listening like the idea of recording an audio book it's like yeah I would really love to do that but how does it actually mm. work well I mean Trudy will be able to speak to the actual sort of nitty-gritty of narrating which you know we'll ask her that in a minute because uh, that's a whole um you know that's a whole other side of it but from from my side so so me and my team we obviously work with you Nick you know, doing this podcast and doing some other podcasts with people so we're all set up with the audio engineer and you know we've got a great team to to kind of you know create audio so we were like, hmm, let's just see whether, you know, creating an audio book is something that, you know, is a good fit for us and should we do it? And, you know, unfortunately for Trudy, we sat on that for a very long time <laughs> until we said, right, who's ready to be the first guinea pig? And because we're the Unbound Press, it was a very unbound process. And so Trudy was incredible, you know, by going first, because it meant that, you know, we were you know, sort of testing out processes and testing out ways of doing it. But essentially, the way that it works is that the author records some audio so we can check the sound and just kind of check, you know, how your mic is set up, how it works with the you know, with the software you've got and where you're recording it. And actually, for Trudy, the way that we thought was going to be perfect and all set up wasn't. So it's going to be different for everybody. So I then send that audio to my guy and he does all the magic on it and says, actually, there's too much echo or there's too much background noise or, or it's fine. And we'll work with the author on the pace of the, you know, of the narration on where to record and how to record it. And then you literally go chunk by chunk. So chapter by chapter, you'll be recording something, sending it over, we'll be editing it, coming back with a few amends here and there saying, hey, there's a word that just sounded a bit odd there. Could you drop that bit in for me? Or this piece was a little bit fast. Um, and so it literally you're learning to narrate your book which is a very different skill, mm. actually. And I'm sure Trudy could speak into this a bit more. How did you find that piece of it? Challenging yeah. is the nicest, easiest way I can put that. Yeah, no, it just, things I don't think about when I speak was very apparent when I was like recording for the audio book, where it's like how my mouth waters all the time. And I was like, what is this all about? Like having no clue about that. Mm. And just like being able to speak, being very like, specific on the words that you use or like our reading really because it's one of those things where it's like lots of s's or different sounds that you're making that you can hear that is just very different than talking so it was not a trained actor I'm not in this world at all so this is kind of it was definitely my love passion to be able to do it not a skill set that I had and you you were so brilliant and you know your book bless you it's like a hundred thousand words as well Trudy so this wasn't a, a short book to narrate and I know there was times where you'd be kind of you know sort of emailing me going don't ask me for any more events <laughs> I'm not <laughs> gonna record anymore um and your dog became really fed up with the microphone being in the room didn't he, he was like no yes yes she it's actually she doesn't even stay by me anymore when I'm like in the room talking at all because she was so traumatized by oh gosh <laughs> recording the the audiobook it was pretty funny <laughs> oh, so please please be warned everyone who's thinking about recording an audiobook you may 
kind of like you'll be ostracized by your pets for forever exactly so. that's the warning <laughs> that's the warning and so so once we've recorded um all the pieces so once our wonderful author has has recorded the pieces and also just like a little a little caveat here it doesn't have to be perfect we are unbound and you know I know Trudy that you had some emotion was really coming through in your book because your book is an incredibly powerful book um you know it doesn't have to be perfect you know it you can be you so you don't have to be the trained actor you don't have to be um incredible at narrating because actually there's something so powerful about your voice as the author sharing that but you did incredibly well um, so we record all the pieces and then we just upload them all to the ACX platform, which is um, the platform that's used for Audible, where it all gets approved and we create artwork for it and add in introductions and forewords and anything else you'd like to add. And then it goes off for um, approval. But the process for us, Trudy, took about three months, was it? I, yes, I think so. From start to finish, I think three months sounds exactly right something like that because actually and we were very aware you know I was certainly aware that your material you know for those who haven't read Trudy's book perhaps it's it's um it's all about grief and losing your family and so it's really an incredibly powerful book but you know we're also here to kind of just check in on you because that that energetically was big and there were times where you where you sort of said no I need to step away and you need to have a break for a minute didn't you Yes, absolutely. It's, you know, I've lived the story, I've written the story, and then I'm verbally speaking it. So it was like every single level you could absolutely hit with this audiobook. But like I said, it was my passion. So it was definitely something. But you were always really supportive in the aspect of like, take your time, like always checking in on me. How are you doing emotionally? Because it wasn't just the speaking aspect, but it was really being connected in to like the story and sharing it the way that I wanted to share it with the world and to be able to say that. So like the whole process was very supported. So even though three months, it's actually interesting, but three months isn't a long period of time, but it is um, at the same time, but it was just to be supported throughout the whole process of speaking that and getting it into the world. Oh, honey, it was a pleasure. And, and hearing the audio is back. You know, when we listen to all of them just to kind of catch any snags at the end, I was just sitting here like bawling. I was like, I'm so happy this is out in the world, but can it be done now? Because this is emotionally really toxic. <laughs> I'm just thinking as you're speaking there, like there's something about speaking the words and your words. It's like you can't be disconnected when you're speaking them. Like you could type up the words and kind of like not really be like emotionally connected but there's something about like the the spoken voice where it takes you straight back into it and we find that in the mastermind like with the show up and share sessions like the emotion can come immediately like people could read the words and it's like fine but as soon as they start speaking them so yeah that must have been like energetically and emotionally a huge, a huge process for you, Trudy. Absolutely. And yeah, I'm glad you're kind of touching upon this again, but it definitely is one of those things where I relived everything. So like I did relive it, you're right, in the writing of it, but at the same time, it was very different spoken. Like I was literally going back through my life again and reliving these moments. But it was necessary for me to be able to tell the story authentically, which is really important to me. So yeah, there is a different energetic feel for sure. So how did you look after your nervous system, Trudy, while you were doing that? Um, Made sure I got grounded a lot was the biggest thing. Um, Speaking of my dogs, I really enjoy like going to like the dog park, which is not what you think for a dog park. It's like 72 acres of like open land. Um, so just getting into the earth and just getting very grounded and just taking breaks when I needed to and just being very focused on my own self-care, my own self-compassion to just really love myself through the entire process. Yeah. How many, I mean, we said it's th- it was three months from, you know, start to audio book being ready and out there. But how many hours do you think it took you, Trudy, actually? recording you got a sense of that? yikes 
Well, it, it's 10 hours once it's all condensed, but mm-hmm. so that gives me an idea. I would say probably, probably about anywhere from 30 to 40 hours mm-hmm. on actually like recording, re-recording if I had to, all of the, like just getting the rhythm of each chapter going. So I say somewhere between 30 to 40 hours. Wow. I mean, I just, it is a big commitment. And I also want to say, you know, we did start with probably the longest book that we've published. So, (laughs) you know, why not? (laughs) Why not? (laughs) And also, I think that, you know, probably the hardest time of getting started was front loaded, was it treated where we, you know, we're getting used to the pace of recording and how to start again if you needed to and how to turn the page while you're recording and how to breathe while you're narrating and all of those things. It will be different for all of us with our different speech patterns. But I know that's probably front loaded with almost like the worst times at the start. But then towards the end, you're really fatigued as well because you've been you know you've been through a hundred thousand words so yeah yeah the other fact that was actually probably time consuming in that is like I travel a lot for my book and so I actually had to go figure out how to say some words because it was like cities I don't know how to pronounce I mean I barely knew how to spell so it was like that also added into the time factor as well so those were the things that would slow me down and um Yeah. I don't know if I ever really slowed down as much as you wanted me to on the speaking, just because I tend to speak quicker. (laughs) It was brilliant. Honestly. Um, So my guy on the team, Zenobi, who's our brilliant audio engineer, he was so impressed with you from the word go. So so he's an expert in doing stuff for Audible. And he's like, wow, (laughs) she's done this amazingly really quickly. So, you you know, you did really take to it um, incredibly. Um, and what advice would you have for anyone else who's thinking about doing an audio book, Trudy? First recommendation would be just to like be listening to other audiobooks. Mm-hmm. I think that like it doesn't have to impact yours, but like you'll start to understand like what you like, what you don't like, and how you want yours to come through. So biggest recommendation is like find your genre and then actually find like some different like speakers so you can kind of narrate that and then just really have patience and love with yourself and just really like trust the process um unbound is definitely the way to go because like it's unbound and so it's like very open and vast um and so yeah just i guess continue to just love and grace yourself through the whole process because it's if you're speaking your own story it might not be your normal forte, but that that does not mean that you can't do it yourself. So just that would be my recommendations. I just want to ask like the techie side of it, Trudy, how did you find that? Because I mean, you know, obviously I record the podcast episodes, and but the thought of actually recording a whole book for me feels like I know <laughs> that Joe and Zenovi would be there with you know all the tips and how to do it but I would find that quite daunting myself actually so how did you find that yeah good and bad so like the bad part was where every chapter thank goodness my chapters were short that's one of the things I really loved but um but it was just one of those things where I would start a chapter I would read like the first paragraph and like mess up like three or four times so then I would start over again so that was the bad of like repeating like the first three paragraphs like a gazillion times um before I actually would get through a whole one but knowing that they would edit out any of like my mess ups was always like very okay but just really not wanting to have like every single sentence was a mess up so like the tech side was good because I knew I was supported but it was like each day getting into the rhythm. So like I would kind of like batch all of my stuff and like I would spend a whole day just speaking because like the first three chapters would be really rough just trying to get into the new rhythm. And then once like I was later in the day, like my flow was a little bit better. So it was it was challenging, but it was also not that bad, but it was more just like, oh, like I'm so over my story in general, just because I've said this like a gazillion times. So 
You're so patient. It wasn't bad, and I'm being super dramatic, but at the same time, it just it was like that perfectionist side of you that comes out that wants everything to be perfect, and then just like getting to a point of like they can edit it out. That's what they're there for. Like let it go. It's move on. Yeah. We can, we can. And and just to speak into that a bit more. So what we do is we actually have a script of the book. So with each piece of audio that comes along, we'll be checking each word. And if a word, have, you know, maybe has dropped out sound wise or, you know, sometimes can get up a little bit glitchy, then we'll say, actually, on this line, could you re-record and we'll drop it back in? Or if you've done like a huge paragraph beautifully, but there's a word in the middle of it that's a bit odd, then we'll drop that back in. So, but it is... Um, uh, you know it is a process and when you found your flow was it just doing it more actually dropped you into that flow Trudy I think a couple things doing it more like the heavier um parts of my book where it's very grief stricken and like I said as I'm speaking it I'm back in that like time period of my life um those were a little bit harder just because they were heavier um but I think it was lots of different factors like the traveling part I wanted that to go quickly, but it didn't because like a lot of the words I had to figure out how to say them. Um, And then I think once I got past all of my travel bit, it was like super quick. Like it was just kind of like really, really easy because I was like, I don't have any words. It's not as heavenly. I can't say say that word. Um, It's very emotional. So, um, but it was just one of those processes that was it, it depended and it depended on what was going on in my real life at the mm-hmm. time so like everything to flow out so it was just kind of all of the emotions all of the time and just really <laughs> trying to balance myself as best as I could <laughs> we're making it sound really harrowing aren't we it's gonna be really hard <laughs> it's emotional it's not it's not <laughs> And the end result is amazing. And I just want to say, like, to people listening who are thinking of recording an audio book uh, and you're in the writing process, just think about the words that you're using because you have to speak those. (laughs) (laughs) Something good to be aware of. (laughs) Short chapters chapters and short words. (laughs) Keep it simple. Yeah. Yeah. Trudy, are you available now to record other people's audio books? Do you want to put that off? Uh, <laughs> I could be, but it's not necessary. <laughs> uh, you uh, had so many synchronicities, Trudy, didn't you, recording this? So I, I had what? some of those. You had so many synchronicities. Oh, wanna... my goodness. Yes. Like the book itself was so synchronistic and also just in the recording was everything it just was all meant to be and that like I need the synchronicities to be like yes this is exactly right but yes definitely was present throughout the whole process even down to I think the date where us three kind of celebrated the process being finished I think was one of your was near your birthday and your brother's birthday um yes. it's like all everything from the dates to just all of it just lined up so beautifully it was just you know really gorgeous confirmation that this was a thing to happen yes Amazing. Amazing. Joe, what did you learn through the process? Oh, actually, I learned to trust the unbound process again, because again, the perfectionist thing, right? This is my first time of doing an audio book. And I wanted to come to Trudy with the full kind of process that's already mapped out. And I had a had a blueprint. I, I knew how to get there. But trusting that we'd all be able to work together in an unbound way, knowing that every author is going to have a slightly different experience narrating with their tech set up, with their subject material. Um, I learned, I really learned, I think, for the author, just how emotional it is, how energetically draining or energetically challenging this can be. And But I also relearned the power of, of the voice of actually speaking aloud your own story um and just the magic of working with people who are open just to seeing you know where this book goes and to hear the finished thing on audible just made me cry (laughs) how about you Trudy did you saw oh my goodness I like I first of all I laughed at myself a lot but not like laughed at myself but I just laughed at like how animated I was I was like I didn't realize how animated I was And then when I got to the end, I like just cried because it's like been this dream for the long, for at least 10 years, if not longer than that, 10 years since my mom. But it was just, 
everything coming together like it was just so beautiful and it just yeah I cried too but I was just like oh it's all complete it's all just everything I wanted it to be amazing Trudy how about you Nick what did you learn from this process oh my god that just the unbound community are amazing and <laughs> like I'm just so grateful like I knew that obviously but yeah I think Joe what you said there about kind of like learning again to like trust the unbound way and that we can find our way as we go and for me it was something around because I'd been thinking about it for a long time and thinking that I had to know how Mm. to how to do it so that it could happen um and it's like actually I don't like like Joe's amazing Zenobi's amazing and our authors are amazing so it can be figured out and I don't have to be involved like every step of the way (laughs) (laughs) you know there's something in that as well like and Trudy you mentioned this like we don't have to do it all ourselves we can allow ourselves to be supported so and like I said I'm just so grateful like Joe I'm so grateful to you for you know finding our way with this and Zenovi as well who like we have to mention that he's in Ukraine and you know it's just incredible that's a huge part of this, actually, that this project actually kicked off. Um, that's a really harsh word. It, it began <laughs> um, just actually just after war had broken out in Ukraine. And I said to Zenobi, you know, do you want to do more work? And actually, he he really welcomed in more work because it's supporting his family. And he's been volunteering for the military and stuff. And he has shown up impeccably for all of the work um the whole time and there's nothing but an incredible you know incredible pro whilst living in a war zone um it's just incredible so it's been beautiful to to be able to to support him and his family as well through more work and it's just it's been a joy to work on guys thank Mm. you oh well thank you joe and trudy i mean i'm endlessly grateful to you for like saying yes well you didn't even need to say yes like basically as soon as we knew that we could we were gonna do this you were like I'm I'm the first one I'm in <laughs> so thank thank you so much for that oh, thank you Trudy. well thank you for letting me be first that's what I wanted to do anyways <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it all worked out <laughs> and if any of our other authors are listening and thinking oh yeah like, I want to I want to go next um let us know because like Ooh. Joe we're we're kind of all set now ready. we're all set we're ready to welcome you guys so if, if you're feeling the call you know it's a bit like you know I think when I said yes to writing the first book I didn't know how it's going to work didn't know what's going to work if you feel that call then we can make it work yeah and for people who aren't in the Unbound Press family yet um Joe I mean you you can help people with you know not just audiobooks but podcasts uh what's the best way of um yeah connecting with you Find me on Instagram, so I'm at the Joe Gifford, or you can email me joe at joegifford.co and just drop me a note and say hi, and we can figure something out. Yeah, amazing. And Trudy, how can people connect with you and find out more about your work and and your book as well? Yes, I'm at adventureafter.com, so check me out there and all the information is there. Amazing. Well, thank you both so much. Like like I said, so grateful and excited um well obviously excited for adventure after to be out there the audio version and and many more to come so thank you both thanks guys thank you